Today, I'm going to teach you how to get Palium or one of the rarest materials in the game, Palium. Interesting enough, uh, there are very few spawns of this and it's only on the Bahari Bay map. I'm going to show you an interactive map wh where all the possible spawns can be and I'm also going to explain to you how the spawns work. And finally, I'll teach you a trick on how to quickly force spawns. So, first and foremost, the Palium Ore here has actually a chance to spawn as just stone. And if that happens, it will remain as regular stone for the entirety of that map until someone breaks it and it respawns where it could still just respawn as stone. Let me show you an interactive map now of um, all the possible spawns in the game. Real quick, I'll pull that up. This is where I'm at. I'll explain more why I'm here in a bit, but this is the Bahari Bay map. And uh, you can see there's like one there, one there. These are all very spread out apart. Some of them are underground. They're hard to get to, especially this one. You gotta climb up but all up in there. And then up here, there's there's three spawns here. These are nice spawns. There's a lot of trees though, and then there's one over there. This one, however, there are five possible spawns, and this is so easy to see and get to. So, let me uh, explain a little bit more about where I'm at. Bahari Bay, here's the map. What you want to do is you want to find this little spiral thing. It's near Proudhorn Pass, an ancient aqueduct. And this is actually a geyser. Whenever you step into the middle of it, it'll bubble up and shoot you upwards. Eventually, I guess. It's uh, lagging, I guess, but it's it's starting to bubble up. And uh, you, you want to have a glider for this, obviously. Uh, maybe it's... there it goes. It kind of was delayed. It's normally faster than that. But with the glider, you can then glide around. And uh, there's several little stone spawns around the perimeter of this circle, and you're just going to look around. Also, enchanted trees can spawn back here. Sometimes, you know, other rare plants, which I tend to grab from time to time. But, uh, you know, it's just a really nice farm spot. But now, what the game wants you to do... Also, this is a nice uh, a rare one, too. What, what the game wants you to do is traverse the whole map and maybe find one or two ores in like 30 minutes of work. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, in one hour you can get 100 ores, and this is how you do it. It's real simple. All you have to do is once you're at this spot, oh, hey, there's there's an ore. I'm gonna grab it real quick because I do need them. And you can tell it's a Paleum ore because it kind of looks like, like a crystallized, you know, blue diamond looking thing and, and stuck in the rocks. But see, that rock over there, that can be a Paleum ore, but it's a regular stone. So what you would normally do is go break that and then wait for the respawn. However, the best way to actually farm this is to simply just exit the game and you're going to see a black screen until I reopen the game. It'll only take a second, don't worry. And what you do is you just close the game and then when you log back into the game, let me get logged in here. When you get logged back into the game, you just hit play and it's going to throw you into a new server or a new instance. And this this process only takes like a minute to do and it refre like you can hop to hundreds of different servers. And this is by far the most superior and faster way to farm the Paleum Ore. So what I'm going to do is just kind of climb back up here real quick. I Remember, I always check back here. These little trees can spawn enchanted as well. Up on this ledge, there could be a Paleum Ore. Uh, look for any kind of other rare spawns, but nothing here. Oh, there's a Paleum Ore back down there again. So uh, what you can expect to find, it, you can expect to find at least one of these nodes every two to three times that you log out of the game. And there we go. More Paleum Ore. This is uh, <laughs> the most pain-free way to farm this. And uh, of course, if you notice a lot of people are camping this spot, especially if this video gets popular, that's what happens because on my channel sometimes videos get overwhelming amounts of views. And if that's the case, then everyone will camp here. But that map that I showed you earlier, simply go to any of the other spawns and you will find Paleum Ore. Not as fast as here, but you will find it. And you will be able to craft your in-game tools and equipment. And I'm not even really sure what all uh, the ore is used for uh, exactly other than upgrading to the in-game tools. Maybe there's more stuff to get. Maybe it's used as a gift to some of the villagers. I'm not really sure, but you can see here that I'm just going to log out, log back into a new server. And like I said, there won't always be a spawn here. Sometimes other players are, you know, do, oh, that's a big boy. Yes, big. Absolutely. These are the ones that you want to get. These, these have a lot more ores. And remember, I'm still looking around the area. See if there's any other spawns. It looks like this is the only one, but this is the ones you want is the big boys. 
Also, Millipede came out, so let's capture it because they're worth good money. And they give silk. This is free money. I'm just gonna grab it real quick. <laughs> they, uh, they take a minute, though. Gotta really gas them. <laughs> Alright. Do I gotta... No, I still... Man. <laughs> I am bad. <laughs> Come on! It keeps zipping around. Fifth time's the charm? No, it's gonna escape soon. <laughs> Well, whatever. There we go. Now we got it. That's silk thread. That's money. And then the, the, the these little bugs themselves, you know, they're a good amount of gold. Why not? So I'm checking down here now. I've checked all the spawns and we're safe to log out once again. And yeah, this this is an insane Paleum ore farm. These things do take a long time to smelt. So get a whole bunch of smelters, put five in at a time, and uh, you'll have... Uh, <laughs> You'll have it in no time. I had to make sure I was typing in the correct password there. Alright, let's see if we can go three for three. Normally it does take two to three cycles of logging in and out here uh, to get it. And there isn't really like a logout or a character select screen yet. I mean, there might be in the future, I don't know. But if there is, that might be faster than closing out the game entirely. And hopefully your system, it doesn't take too long to like close and reopen it. Uh, let's see, there's one. Or that's not one there. We got a uh, player nearby hunting some deer also there's iron spawns you know if you want iron is always good because it can drop uh gold as well so i always grab the iron nodes when they're up and again all the stone nodes around here they can be iron nodes so iron super duper useful might as well grab it while i'm here check uh the node down here there is no rocks and there we go i check up on the ledge as well check the forest for enchanted trees that i may be able to chop and exit once again and, and, and that's basically it. Now, there is a chance that, um, if again, if this video gets popular, it could be fixed. They could make it where you're, like, stuck to one server for a while, which would kind of suck. Um, I think they need to add... They definitely need to add more Paleom ore spawns. Uh, running around the entire map to get two ores, maybe, in, in one hour's time, feels really bad. And I understand it's supposed to be the in-game of in-game materials, but still. Let's see... Wow, this one is completely devoid of stone. This is like the worst spawn ever. There's just nothing here. Yikers. Well, there's something up on that ledge that's glowing. Oh, it's a plant. I'll go ahead and just grab that real quick. You know, might as well yoink, yoink this out. There we go. And uh, log out once again. One more. We'll do one more. And then I'll close out the video for you guys. You know, eight, you know, for those that don't know, us YouTubers, we got to make our videos eight minutes long so it has maximum audience reach. And uh, that way more people can see the video and learn and be less frustrated and have more fun. That's what we're doing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say my outro now. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. And if this helped you out, please leave a like. Because uh, the more you guys click like on the video, it, it just helps. All right. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice, that nice one right there. Let's grab it. And uh, let's see. No, no, on those two. There's still the one spawn down there, and yeah, let's go grab that, and yeah, so we, we, we got quite a bit of ore in this video. Uh, with that said, leave a comment because it's the only social interaction I get. I read every single comment. I'll answer any question you might have, uh, as long as I haven't made a video answering the question. Otherwise, search my channel. Finally, uh, make sure you're subscribed because we're so close to 100,000 and uh, I'm going to be pumping out a lot of videos for this game. So make sure to be subscribed. And um, finally, oh, he's got like his glider like stuck to his hand. What the hell? <laughs> uh, there is a referral link if you want to play it. So check the description. And finally, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, then uh, then you'll never find any Paleum ore. That's just how it is, so make sure you click that video.